Do you like medieval strategy? What about combining it with teleportation and topping it off with 8,000 pound elephants? Well, by using the power of a few rocky boys, we're gonna break Age of Empires 4. I'm the Grim Cleeper, and today I'll be showing you how to break Age of Empires 4 a series with enough remakes and remasters to make even Skyrim blush. But first, what exactly is Age of Empires, and what am I going to be breaking? Age of Empires is basically a real-time strategy game where you pick a civilization, build it up, and then try to kill your opponent. The faction we're going to be using is called the Delhi Sultanate, which is essentially India. But what's special about this faction is that they have some very game-breaking abilities, a couple of which are definitely classified as exploits. So at the start of the game, we use these villagers here to collect resources. We've also got to slaughter the local sheep population for food, although I'm definitely more than qualified for that. Now, something specific to our faction is that all of our research is free. Normally in this game, research costs a lot of money, but for us, it's completely costless. The downside is that it takes a really long time to complete, but to speed it up we can train scholars. But the game kind of lies to you here. It says that scholars increase your research rate by 12.5%, when in reality that's just a lie. Now the game's math is just wrong. It increases it by a lot higher than that. Meaning that the fact that all of our technology is free is even more overpowered. Now one of the main parts of Age of Empires is that you advance through ages. As you move up in ages, you get better and better technology. To move up in an age, you have to spend a crap load of money on a landmark, which does special things. The landmark that we're gonna build gives us scholars for even cheaper. Now because we obviously don't want to die, we built these production buildings here to get out archers. But here's where one of those interesting little details about our faction come in. Our villagers here are the ones who build all of our buildings. Specifically, they can build walls. But unique to our faction, our soldiers can also build walls. At the start of the game, it's only these crappy palisade walls, which don't really do very much. But as we get later, you're gonna see exactly why this is a little broken. So we got our first group of enemies, and I can just flex my room world kiting skills here by using the advanced tactic of walking backwards that the AI has yet to master. Now here's where this whole building thing actually gets pretty useful. We can come over here and capture this sacred site, which gives us free money. But with the the fact that our infantry can all build structures, we could just immediately surround it in walls. Also, look at how fast these walls build. Now, unfortunately, these wooden walls can get burned down by just about anything. As you see, our enemy is actually just gonna destroy them and come right for us. Now, if only we were able to somehow build stone walls. And as soon as we advance to age three, that problem solves itself. With this compound of the defender, our soldiers become industrial concrete mixers because apparently they can now build stone walls. I guess they just reach into their back pocket and realize, oh hey, a 60 foot wall. Now stone walls in this game have some very specific properties. As you can see, now our infantry can build these, but we can't actually get on top of them. Not until we build a stone wall tower, which actually takes a decent amount of time to construct. Or at least, it would if the game weren't completely broken. You see, by actually just placing the construction blueprint, we can ignore it and immediately run onto the wall. But enemies can also run onto the wall after us. That is, if I didn't just cancel the construction. So now our guys are effectively invincible on top of this wall and no one can touch them. Better yet, units on walls only take a third of the normal amount of range damage and get a bonus to their range. And if we ever want to get off the wall, we just put the blueprint back and then walk down. Well, okay, so what? Your soldiers can build walls and they can stand on top of them. Nothing special, right? Well, wrong. That's where things go from really silly to extremely stupid. So I built this wall over here in the middle of the map, and okay, okay, and this is actually a really good example. And congratulations, the enemy can't actually do anything. They're just gonna stand here and run around until we just keep shooting them. And the moment that we want to come down from the wall, I can just put the tower back and we leave. The thing is, why would I ever leave the wall? Because as it turns out, you can actually build more wall from on top of the wall. So I could just stand here with my archers and slowly snake towards my opponent's base. 
and there's nothing they can do about it. Ah, yes, as you can see, the enemy's running into the wall, and unsurprisingly, they're pretty confused. Yeah, I would be too. As you can see, the enemy's trying to outrange us here, but the problem is, because our units have more range and take 66% less damage on walls, they literally can't win. As a matter of fact, we've already expanded our wall into their main base. I can see their capital from here. And guess what? Things get even buggier. If I select all my units and I go to build a wall right now, half of them just suddenly appear on the bottom, meaning that I can basically teleport my units as I please off of the wall. No climbing stairs, just flat out teleportation. And then I forget to mention that we actually have healers, so all this damage that they're dealing to our units is just being completely undone. This singular archer has taken like 900 arrows to the face, and he's still at full health. And after not much struggle, the AI is pretty much dead. But Age of Empires is a multiplayer game, so while this might work against the AI, how does it do against real players? Oh ho ho, the first victim! No, never mind, they immediately left. Okay, another opponent. Hopefully this one doesn't uh, leave. And we are into the game. Let's make sure to give our opponent a good old GLHF, or as I like to say, good luck having fun. Oh man, look at all the sheep we're getting. So let's just make sure to run by our opponent's base, flaunt our wealth a little. Oh uh, no, I feel so bad for this guy. Oh shit, he's building a barracks. Wait, we gotta, never mind, I take it back. Stay away from my sheep, you bastard. Stay away. Okay, okay, look at my man go. He's got some spearmen up. It's a, it's a little bit frightening, but nothing that I think we need to be too worried about. And already we should be able to get up to tier two pretty fast. Now with a special little tier one technology we get, we actually are able to capture these holy sites two ages faster than we're normally allowed to. Meaning that we get that free sweet 100 gold per minute starting at the beginning of the game. And better yet, we can actually even build walls to defend it. What? How did you just steal all these sheep from me? <laughs> Get back here. If I have to, I'll kill them. Oh my God, what is he doing? He's taunting us with his copious sheep. And just like that, we're on our way to tier three, which means that the fun can begin. Oh no, our opponent just got to the second age. I feel so bad. Not really, I'm a RimWorld player. I've done far worse than this. And with that, let the Great Wall commence. All we need is to build this stone wall tower and we will be on our way into his main base. Oh God, everybody get on top of the tower. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. He's just pathing away. The only thing he has is spearmen. This is actually so bad. I feel so awful. By the way, did I forget to mention that as the daily sold, we get special access to tower war elephants, which is gonna obliterate these palisade gates. Oh no, he's actually building stone walls behind it. Oh, we can fix that. Oh my god, this is so silly. We're right on top of him. Oh no, this is the most scuffed fight ever. It's just archers fighting archers. Okay, we're actually gonna have to retreat for a second here because I don't think we win that fight. All it takes is a little persistence. And by persistence, I mean a counterweight trebuchet. I also kind of forgot, we can actually go around and grab these holy relics and they generate us free money. And considering that our opponent is currently boxed into his own base, all of them are basically ours. Oh my God, this is so silly. I love it. Oh shit, he's sending out his troops. <laughs> We're just playing tug of war right now. All he's doing is trying to send out his guys while we keep sieging his base. Oh, he's actually, he might actually kill our trebuchet. Nope, nope, no such luck. All his units are just running out here and immediately getting grilled. And this is where we make use of our giant armored elephants because it turns out they're pretty good. Especially good at just walking up to people and completely stamping them out of existence. Ah, uh, I love Age of Empires. Now, of course, we could try to walk up to his main base and fight it fair and square, but instead, I'm just gonna continue our wall. <laughs> Why fight the enemy all fair if I could just cheat instead? And remember, if I ever wanna get my guys off the wall, I can just extend the construction and boom, half of them are just gonna teleport. Yes, I too like bringing space age technology into a medieval game. Maybe this game is more like StarCraft than I thought. Imagine sitting in this guy's town center and you know, you're just going about your day and you look out the window and see a 60 foot tall stone wall blocking your way. Man, the homeowners association is gonna be pissed. Oh, he just left. He didn't even say anything. Man, no, no GG. 
God, what a toxic player. And with my opponent getting kicked off of his neighbor's Wi-Fi, we win. Now, I'm an aggressively mediocre RTS player, so my ability to do this is probably not that good. But for those of you who are, feel free to share any weird Age of Empires 4 exploits you might have come across. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to guillotine the like button and subscribe to the channel by accusing a local widow of witchcraft. Thanks for watching. See ya.